Hi guys, welcome back to this week's episode. Uh, this one's been in the works for, for, for a while. It's been in the back of my mind uh, for quite a bit. Um, mainly because the the topic at hand has been uh, probably one of the more polarizing uh, projects from, from Mattel, for Hot Wheels specifically. And that is Hot Wheels NFT, the, uh, the NFT garage project. Um, it's been running for a couple of years. Um, it's it's up to um, Series 7 at the moment. So Series 7 has just uh, released a, a month or so ago. Um, and there are, I think, the next 8, 9 and 10 series have already been confirmed for the rest of, uh, at least for the rest of 2024. Like I said, there's, there's long been anything else that have divided opinion uh, as much as probably nfts in general but but from hot wheels um the hot wheels uh nft garage set uh my opinion i mean i've seen countless videos uh people on one extreme end of the ex spectrum and then obviously the others um one side labeling nfts in general as as a bit of a farce a bit of a fad um, uh, and the hype has died down in the last couple of months, uh, probably the last 18 months or so. Uh, and then you get the, the hardcore collectors that are just sticking with it, uh, keep picking up NFTs along the way. Um, I think in, uh, in, in general, NFTs probably was a bit of a, a, a fad, um, yeah, the the whole um, digital asset. I, I think with a lot of people that that didn't compute, that they didn't really understand why you would invest in something like that, why you would trade something like that, why you would want to earn something like that. I probably fall mostly into that category. Um, it was an interesting concept. I think it, it tied in with cryptocurrencies, obviously, because of the way that that it was structured and the way it was um, kept, how, how the records were kept of trans transactions and how they were how they were traded or how they were sold. Um, but pro probably, if I had to, to to talk about the Hot Wheels NFT specifically. I would liken them more to a trading card, like like you would if I had to explain it to somebody. I, I'd probably liken it to like a collectible trading card game or, or or just collection. It's that sort of thing. So at the end of the day, the NFTs that you buy, and and I'll I'll keep flashing uh, wherever there's space. I'll keep flashing just. Uh, examples of nfts and and the hot wheels nfts and, and uh, specifically um you you could probably you'd have to you had to forget the whole concept of of a, a, an investment or, or or actually owning a digital asset that might be worth something in in the case of hot wheels they aren't that unique i mean there are thousands of the of the basics and the and the rares or the uncommons available and each one the same as the next. The only uh, unique thing about them is, is the numbering. So I mean, you'd you'd own one number of a certain vehicle, but some, somebody else would own exactly the same vehicle just with a different number. So it was like that. You you could get du duplicates. Um, you can obviously trade them. You can you can swap them out. You can uh, buy them. You can sell them. Um, and and that's why I think uh, I'll I'll try and split the video into two parts. Um, maybe nfts from hot wheels um you know where where we've come from uh, and maybe in, in the next video um just where we're going or what the what the foreseeable future for the project looks like but yes you i, I think if 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 they if if mattel didn't have the, the physical redeemables i think the nft project would have been long dead um just based on that fact alone is that there isn't that much of a variety and you can't you can't really do anything with them it's it's nice to trade or something to collect uh, Mattel has, has been um, bringing out rewards cards uh, cars uh, also physical ones uh, for people that complete collections so you, so there's there's a bit of a bit of a goal to aim at if if you do 
you know, if you are in that game, you keep on, kept on trading, kept on acquiring uh, NFTs. But the the main thing is is to not not see this as an investment because it isn't. Um, you collect the ones that you like, collect them all if you if you like, but don't see them as an, an investment. They they aren't. Um, but what's saved, uh, I think, or what's keeping it alive at, at least, is the, the physical redeemables. Okay, so back when they started the NFT garage for the first uh, three series, series one, two, and three, um, they partnered with um, established uh, NFT marketplaces, so you could buy the packs on the the packs that contain the. And again, you, I liken this to a collectible trading card. Uh, like it's exactly the same as, as buying a pack of Pokemon cards. Um, you get your very basic cards, and then you, you, you all, everybody aims for that odd rare, rare one that's that's maybe worth something more. And in this case, it would have been the physical cards. So they started out um, where you could buy the packs on the Mattel site. They had dates uh, with drops, like you had the R like you have the RLC drops. Uh, and they'd uh, drop a certain amount of packs. Uh, it was always limited. Uh, it, you couldn't just buy packs indefinitely. Uh, they it usually lasted a couple of hours before the packs were sold out. And then it was random. You, you open the pack up um, on on the on the um, still on the Mattel site. Uh, you'd see what NFTs uh, you got. They would be assigned to your wallet, and your wallet would be connected to um, one of the marketplaces so you could see which ones you own and then you could also uh, trade or sell your nfts or buy from from other um from other collectors so the first three were run like that um now from and and it it wasn't without its teething problems but since series four uh, mattel took everything in-house so they created their own marketplace you still bought the packs off their site just like you normally would um, and then everything else moved um, in-house. The, they created a marketplace that took a while. It, you would in, initially there wasn't a marketplace. There was no place where you could trade or sell or buy NFTs. The ones that you got in the packs were the ones that you had, um, and you you were sort of stuck with that. So if you didn't if you didn't uh, if if you if you weren't quick enough and you didn't get any of the packs, then then you just went without. And I think that's where they lost. Um, a lot of the a lot of the people sort of said, "No, nah, okay, well, that's that's it for me. I'm I'm not really following this anymore." Uh, there was a definite dip in the popularity of I think yeah, those like uh, series four and five. They didn't seem that popular. Cars were okay. Um, uh, again, as I said, I'll I'll show a few exam examples of of what the what the the draw cards were for those um, for those series. Um, I thought I'd just open up a couple of these that I did get. Okay, so I only uh, I only got involved from C. I, I followed series one, but there wasn't anything that really took up my fancy. I wasn't sure how to um, actually buy the NFTs um, because they used because they they listed on an, ex, uh, an established um, marketplace. They they used wax as the cryptocurrency of, of choice. Wax on, wax off. Back then, so the only place uh, we could get wax um, was um, an, uh, on, on on the Binance platform. So it was a bit of a it was a bit of a um, it was a bit of a, 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 a schlep to get to actually buy Ethereum from a local. Um, uh, from a local exchange and then transfer it to the Binance wallet and then from there you could transfer it to your wax wallet and you'd convert ethereum to wax and then you'd have some wax in your wallet and you could buy so so it took me a while to sort of figure that out um, not all of the exchanges have got support for our local currency or our local credit card some of them don't or didn't at that stage take um, our credit card so you can just buy cryptocurrency straight straight away uh, it was a bit of a, there were quite a few hoops to, to jump through. So I got involved um, in Series 2. Um, the, probably the, I was lucky enough to 
to get these before the before the real hype started and that was probably the the main draw card from series 2 was the Honda S2000 uh, nice clean I'll show you this the animation I'll put it off to one side and the animation for the car as well the card art is based on the animation uh, that 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 displays the NFT so if you click on any Hot Wheels NFT it'll, it's a little animation of the car just rolling down the road and then the the background in the car sort of designates what sub-series it's part of uh, this one uh, I think is part of the night burners so exactly the same you see the back of the card is, is very plain um, it's a it, it looks like the the NFT packs so these are the sort of the covers of the NFT packs that look like this um, you can see that uh, just at the bottom it says uh, night burners so just like your regular uh, Hot Wheels uh, they, they divide it into subsets so usually uh, they don't uh, the, the physical ones are sort of one from each subset or one one from uh, one of the subsets that they hadn't featured before um, I have a total of three NFTs physical redeemables um, at the moment and I'll, 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 I'll get you that in the next video I have a, I have two more um, that 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 are on the way um, the way it works is to get the physicals is if you do happen upon the you manage to draw um, the physical redeemable uh, NFT usually in each series there are four uh, like what they call ultra rare or premiums they used to call them premiums um, and then one sort of their version of the super treasure hunt is the NFT treasure hunt uh, so five redeemables per series in total usually um, and these were all just the I don't have I, I never went for one or, or I could never afford uh, in the marketplace the uh, the NFT agent and they usually don't they don't really tickle my fancy just taking this one out of the out of the protector to show it off uh, this was one of the the less expensive cars the redeemables I picked this up um, a little later on uh, just as the redemption window um, opened Okay, so what happens is you uh, you get the the NFT, and as long as you have the redeemables NFT in your possession when the redemption window opens, so they have set dates when they start handing out the redemption tokens. It's just a it's just a little digital coin that you get um, that you that you redeem on the um, the Metal Creations website. Uh, so you you just swap that out. You sort of burn the the token uh, so you, you get to keep the nft uh, so i have these three still in my collection as nfts uh, they're just not really worth anything um, and then yes when you burn the redemption token uh, they convert that for you into a physical car that they ship to you now initially and i don't know if if anybody can confirm this initially the idea was uh, that you didn't if they made say like a, a, a thousand of these cars or, or if, if there are a thousand of these Corvettes available and say 550 people get their tokens and they they burn them then there are only supposed to be 550 of these physical cars available now whether or not Intel does it like that that was that was sort of the, the idea that they hinted at initially but whether or not they they really stick to that or they don't, just don't or they just go ahead and just make the thousand cars I'm assuming they do uh, they just keep it to themselves um, that was supposed to be one of the uh, the, the draw cards is that you you'd only get there'd only be so many cars available as 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 what was redeemed making these very rare especially for the earlier series when people were still unsure as to either the procedure how to get them um not all the packs went sold i think um in that first series so yeah i, I think the first couple of series probably a 
even a bit more rare. Um, it's only about from series three. I could I, I could see that there was more people um, getting comfortable with the idea of buying these packs, trading with other people, buying and selling on the marketplace. Um, so there was definitely an uptick in, in the popularity. Uh, you could see a lot more people posting pictures of their actual, the, the physical redeemables. So yeah, um, those are the three uh, that I have. Um, I'll just put a quick link up to to the um, to the page where the uh, the current uh, series is featured. The current series is at series uh, seven. So seven is now sort of in the marketplace uh, to be bought um, and then series six we're just about to reach the redemption period so you can you can you can just about still buy one or two cars uh, I'm looking to, to get one more um, just to, uh, to just to add uh, to my collection um, that, that that would give me a total of two or three cars uh, to claim in, in from series six and then I'll have a look at what the pricing does in the next couple of months. The redemption period for for season for series seven um, is only like end of April. So uh, if you are looking to get into uh, the physical uh, cars, the NFT cars from Hot Wheels, it's I think one of the last ones, last series that they have that are really limited. I mean they haven't numbered the RLC drops for three years four years now so you never know how rare the the cars that that are dropped there um really is re or really are um so this way you could at least you know you know you can go and look it up it's all in a uh, in a journal you you can you can um, you can have a look at exactly what happens to the digital asset how it's sold when it was sold when it was created when it was redeemed um the whole thing is is uh kept um in 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 uh, uh in a ledger so you can you can see exactly how many cars are available um and that makes it a little bit more rare yeah, you, these these are some of the last ones that are available to the public but still in limited quantities so so that's i think that's probably the 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 physical redeemables and the and the the limited nature of them i think that it's the only thing keeping this project alive uh, and and i like it i, I don't mind it uh, i'm not on the on the side that says look it's a it's a sham it's a scam it's you know it's just another setting point i, I actually do like some of the cars uh, i think they're well made they are full premium um so i don't don't know if you, if you saw from the um, uh, from the close-up, it is like a full premium car. It's uh, uh, metal base, rubber tires. Uh, I um, it is spectra flame paint. Uh, so the glare is a bit bad. Sorry, uh, this protector took a bit of a knock. Uh, you can see some of them when they put them in the little white box. Uh, they get caught on the lip, and it, and it sort of bends. Um, but yeah. So that's actually why I got this specific one as well because it it actually turned out to be one of the one of the um, less expensive redeemables. Um, but I like the execution. I like the I like the choice of wheels. I like the color. I like the deco. Um, so I picked it up for for not very much. So yeah, that, I, I think that's part one of of where we where we've come from and, and just the basics on the NFTs. I'll make another video just uh, to to maybe show the what where we stand at what the procedure is to buy them. Uh, there was a big outage on the marketplace. There was a breach, um, as far as I remember, in user data and also some of the cryptocurrency um, was compromised. So the marketplace was down for at least two and a half months. Uh, it opened back up end of January. So so. Uh, they had some extra layers of security added, so you can get back into back into trading and buying and selling your your NFTs if you if you do have them. Uh, so head on over to the Metal website. I'll put the I'll put the um, just the virtual marketplace link in the description down below. 
Um, and yeah, uh, check some of them out if, if you are so inclined. And uh, yeah, in the next video, we will have a look at, at what the procedure now is for for buying NFTs and how to acquire the, um, the physical redeemables. But that's it. I'll see you again next week. Uh, next week, I might be covering the, um, there was a local car show um, this weekend past. Uh, I picked up some some items of, of interest and I'll, uh, I'll get on to those uh, next week. All right. Keep well. Cheers.